Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. Today we're gonna be featuring Graptoveria Harry Watson. This is a hybrid between our Graptopetalum Paraguayans, or yung ating ghost plant, and the Echeveria rubella. Isa din ito sa mga succulents na considered as big sizes kasi pag lumaki siya, you would be expecting na yung kanyang rosettes would be about 6 inches or 15 centimeters in diameter. Although yung Harry Watsons na I have here when I tried to measure it, nasa more than 6 inches na siya, parang nasa 7 inches na siya. And probably we would be expecting it to reach up to 8 or 9 inches pag talagang maibigay natin yung kanyang growth needs. Itong succulent na to is also coated with a uh, farina and if you will be touching it this way. Ayan o, oh, ba? Napaka light lang yung pag scratch ko ng aking thumb dito sa kanyang pinaka leaf pero natanggal na agad yung kanyang pinaka farina and as much as possible when handling this kind of succulent let's try to preserve yung ating farina kasi it protects them against the sun and the rain the color nung kanyang leaves would be bluish green and that is very dominant nga dito sa kanyang pinaka center kasi pag may tumutubong bagong leaf uh, hindi pa sila masyadong stress kaya you would be expecting that blue green color and habang lumalaki siya you would be expecting it to have these parang brownish to pinkish color sa kanyang leaves. It would now depend on the amount of sunlight and yung water na kanyang nare-receive. You would be expecting that our Harry Watsons would be producing some flowers in the color of yellow to pink. If you will be growing this kind of succulent, it's best if ilalagay natin siya outdoors rather than indoors. And also, we need to provide yung ating full to partial sun sa kanya that is best for its growth. And this one na prefers yung ating mga warm environments. But then, if the temperature reaches 30 to 40 degrees centigrade, we have to move it in a shaded area to prevent yung ating sunburn. Most of the time, akala natin na yung color ng ating mga Harry Watsons would just be this simple, para lang siyang greenish to brownish depending now sa angle or yung tama ng light sa kanyang pinaka leaves. But if we will be stressing yung ating Harry Watsons, like they will be receiving yung ating all day long na sun exposure, they would turn like this. Ayan, you can compare the difference. Ikita ninyo yung talagang pagka-pink ng kanyang color Ayan, ganyan yung kanyang itsura. And I have seen some na talagang super pink yung leaves ng kanilang mga Harry Watsons. Probably those are a result of cold stress. Something na mahirap nating i-achieve dito sa Pilipinas kasi we are in a warm temperature. Ganito yung maging itsura ng inyong mga Harry Watsons if we constantly expose them to our full sun. Pero if we will be stressing or if we wanted to achieve this kind of look, it's not enough na we will just be exposing it to the sun exposure and doon nga papasok yung pag-water natin sa ating Harry Watsons. If we will be watering it regularly, like for example once a week, we won't be expecting na magiging ganito ka-colorful yung kanyang leaves. Perhaps it's gonna be like this parang yung typical na color niya lang na ganito. Even if na I will be watering my Harry Watsons na may interval na every two weeks, still nahihirapan akong gawing ganito yung kanyang color. And what I did was not to water it for about one month. As a result, ganito nga yung naging itsura niya. And still, continuously, napapansin ko na day by day, nagiging pinkish pa nga yung kanyang itsura. Drought tolerant naman sila and they can handle na hindi sila madiligan for a long period of time. Pero, the only disadvantage of not watering this regularly is that yung kanyang leaves would look shriveled or hindi siya masyadong ganun ka-healthy tignan. If we're gonna be looking at it this way, you would notice na hindi talaga siya ganun ka-happy since kulang na nga siya sa tubig. Colorful nga yung ating Harry Watsons but you would feel na mukha siyang dehydrated and hindi siya masaya sa kanyang current condition. Some of its bottom leaves are already drying. Ayan, this, doon, and that one. So this is now our result of underwatering. Talagang dehydrated na yung ating succulent. I have removed a leaf earlier. If I will be doing this one, you would see na may mga kulubot na siya dyan. And it is an indication na we have to water our Harry Watson. And now that our Harry Watsons is totally craving for water, I will be using yung ating soak and dry method. So, didiligan natin siya. We will be thoroughly soaking yung kanyang pinaka soil. And yung ginamit nating soil mix here is yung ating typical loam soil. This kind of soil works best for me. It's cheap, 
very affordable sa kasi yung parang 10 kilos of our loam soil would only cost me 70 pesos and madami na akong pot na malalagyan using this kind of soil and at the same time it's also well draining and I've been using this kind of soil for most of my succulents mapalokal man yan imported or mga rare succulents and I didn't have any problem with drainage Propagating our Harry Watsons is very simple you can have leaf na ganito you can just simply take it from its stem air dry then you can just wait for a couple of days then magkakaroon nga siya ng roots and offsets yung nakikita natin ngayon is about 2 to 3 months old ganon kabilis lumaki yung ating mga Harry Watsons kasabay niya yung ating mga Tito Buns dyan sa pinakababa. And this one is located sa ating rain or shine area. Mas mabilis yung growth ng ating mga leaf propagations pag naka-rain or shine sila at a very young age. We can also propagate this succulent through stem cuttings. So we have two possible stems na pwede natin i-cut and using a clean pair of scissors, we can just simply cut here or dito air dry for a couple of days before planting. Further grooming and maintenance, we can remove yung mga dried leaves na ganito. If for example yung leaf natin is just like this na hindi pa naman talaga siya completely dry and humihiwalay dito sa ating pinaka stem, we don't need to remove it kasi ito pa rin yung kanyang pinaka water source na hindi pa siya nadidiligan. So let's just wait kasi naturally it will fall off pag talagang natuyo na or nakuha niya na lahat ng water supply from these leaf. Lastly, we need to check for some pests and some fungal infections. Itong ating Harry Watsons is a total survivor. Ang dami na nitong pinagdaanan na fungal attacks. I'm always using yung ating Toragi Blue na broad spectrum fungicide. So pag may mga napansin na kayong mga fungal attacks sa inyong mga succulents or Harry Watsons, you can spray yung ating contact fungicide directly. And possibly every two weeks, nyo siyang i-apply until na fully makarecover na yung ating succulent. Then, if wala namang problema yung ating mga succulents, just for maintenance, I usually use it every 3 to 4 months na interval. And that's all for our Harry Watsons. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.